As part of this session, we will read data from ADLS Gen 2 stage and copy it into destination folder in ADLS Gen 2 using below approach. Approach 1 will copy files in sequence and in the approach 2 will copy the same files in parallel using thread pool. Let's check the benefit of using multiprocessing using thread pool. It saves time and cost by fully utilizing the cluster. Also, enable concurrent processing which helps in reduction in processing time and allows single process to have multiple threads. Let's get into demo now. This is my folder which will act as a source to copy in the destination folder. As you see it contains multiple files which we will be reading using both the approach as mentioned earlier. Clustered is in terminated state. Let me start the cluster so we can proceed with running the PySpark script. Cluster is up and running now. In the first cell, as you see I am reading the number of files inside stage folder which needs to be copied. This variable will be used to iterate. Let me execute this cell. So we have total 26 files which needs to be copied in the destination folder. Declaring stage and destination path in the variable and capturing all the 26 files named to be copied in a list. Creating a generic function by passing file name as a variable. This function will read the data from stage path and copy it in destination folder. At last, it will display the file name and number of records in it. Now let's copy the file using approach 1 in sequence. We will iterate the function copy data by passing the file name in sequence. As we have total 26 files to be copied, it will read each one of them and write to the destination path in sequence. This approach will take more time compared to the approach 2 which will be using thread pool to copy the data in parallel. It will take some time to perform the copy, so we'll pause the video and resume it once done. It's completed now and as you see it took around 3 minutes to copy all the 26 files in the destination folder. Let's go to the approach 2 to copy using thread pool in parallel. Let me execute this. In the approach 2, we are passing the copy data and the list in the pool.map method. Using thread pool you can set the number of parallelism and in my case I am using 26 thread. And the same number of thread will be used in pool.map method. You need to import thread pool from multiprocessing.pool to using the below method. As you see, to copy the same data it took around 18 seconds compared to 2.53 minutes when doing the same thing in sequence. Let's check the destination folder in the ADLS where we have written all the stage files. As you see all the files are copied here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos on similar topic.